Yeah, afternoon. How are you doing today? Well, sir, it is a beautiful snowfall. We've had about two or three days of snow here, I guess. Two days, real two days. Uh, 25, 26 centimeters the first day, and then about 15 and about two days after. We have more snow in the backyard here. We've been here 10 years, and uh, more snow here than we've had in a, a long time. <laughs> I just love it, actually. I don't know, this is kind of crazy, but anyway. Time for the loons? <laughs> Maybe you think I'm one. Anyway, I just wanted to talk. We're going to fill the feeders here. We're doing a couple of things. We're just at home today, first time in several, several days, and that's all good. Uh, just love what I do and love the people and all that kind of stuff. But um, one of the questions we've been getting in the store quite a bit um, is uh, how come there's so many robins around? Um, well, there's a lot of reasons, a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, you know, climate change. Uh, range you know differences they're moving around a little more they're a, what we call a Carolinian forest bird uh, all this stre stretch of uh, land through like down towards Toronto and down into the states into New York and all that in the Carolinas and that kind of stuff this Carolinian forest of course it's millions of years old uh, being uh, changed by habitat loss you know the, the tracks of land or the tracks of forest and all that kind of stuff aren't together anymore so all those things are playing a big role but uh, I think if we look back at 2012 in the area here and then uh, particularly up into Renfrew County and those kind of places we had a severe drought in those areas uh, in, in 2012 and then since then we really had several several years in a row then a pretty lush growth you know we've been lots of berries there's lots of been lots of apples there's been lots of seeds on the on the grasses and lots of bugs and lots of spiders and you know all that kind of stuff plays a role so um food availability uh it affects us all if you think about it if we didn't have food here we'd go somewhere there was something <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the robins are kind of the same, and I think climate change, it's been a mild winter. Uh, historically, over the last uh, many, several years, uh, at the Christmas bird counts all over uh, all over North America, but all over the region here, uh, have, you know, always been robins around, always red-winged blackbirds around, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so, yeah, so they're just, they're just, they're flocking together. We've got several things at the store that uh, people buy uh, our dried mealworm product. Um, you can put uh, fruit out for them if you wish. Uh, we have a suet product that's uh, designed to uh, help the robins. It's got bugs and stuff in it. And uh, oh, there's a little rust out here. And uh, so all those things. But the, the real reason is uh, with why there's more robins uh, this year in particular. I think we've seen what I call the runway effect. Anybody knows me hears me say that all the time. You know, we go along, we go along, we go along, we go along, and then poof, we we see impact. And I think we're seeing an impact now uh, with uh, more birds. You know, take like cardinal for instance uh, 50 60 years ago there was no cardinals here at all North American cardinals they were again down in the Carolinas and down in a little little just that little bit south of us here that the climate is different anyway lots more robins habitat change habitat loss uh, food availability uh, historical range changes and adjustments based on you know uh, time you know we take, take we're, we're sort of narrow vision we're kind of set in our own little era of time but if you think back you know things adjust and change and move around all the time so there's lots more robins get your bird bath filled have some fun get out in the snow fill your feeders and we'll talk at you soon should we do a balloon call one more time call on the loons it's spring